South Africa's mining industry employs over 450,000 people. Most mining operations happen deep underground and remain risky despite efforts to reduce fatalities. Tech developers are now turning to artificial intelligence to monitor working conditions and in some cases predict equipment failures to keep miners safe. Recently we've developed what we call a TMM digital twin which is TMM stands for uh, trackless mobile machinery, a digital twin that enables mining to dynamically analyze their risk within a mining environment. But aligned with that, it also supports mining for them to measure their fuel consumption linked to fuel efficiency, hence ensuring that we are turning data into intelligence for, to support decision making in the mining industry. The Council for Scientific Research works closely with coal miners, often exposed to dust fires and other life-threatening conditions. So we have a virtual reality uh, training experience that puts them inside a real emergency situation in a mine. It engulfs your senses, you, you can hear, you can see, and you start believing that you're really in trouble. So what you need to do then is you need to remember what you've been taught and you need to execute really quickly. Occupational health and safety hazards have marred this sector throughout its 150-year history, claiming thousands of lives. There has been a significant decrease in both deaths and accidents since 1995, but AI is expected to boost these efforts further to prevent dozens of workers dying each year. I think there's lots of room to be done around improving that environment for our miners. And I mean, improving it is, is not a selfish requirement. It actually helps the mine be more productive because if you've got less incidences, you've got less shutdown time and that obviously improves your productivity. With mining a significant contributor to GDP in South Africa, the employment of AI-powered systems goes well beyond safety making mining operations smarter and more efficient as the industry steps up to the green revolution. Najma Abdirizak, CGTN.